Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, another 50 pence coin hunt. Now what I'm going to be doing this week and next week is a comparison video because we've got two bags, one of which contains rolling over bags and this one here contains sale bags. Neither of them are dated, uh, this one is a Voltex bag um, and it does say recyclable on the top. So I will be doing this one first and I'll just quickly show you right the way around. Everything is all sealed. Um, this one here I'll be doing next week. These contain the sale bags as I mentioned. Um, but I have noticed there is a little nick in the bottom. It's not worth mentioning, but uh, like I said, the sale bags are inside. But I'll be doing that one next week. We've got two albums on the go. Uh, four and five. This one is the main one. Uh, we still need... Kew Gardens, and then we need 16 Olympics, so there's uh, three on that page. Uh, we need eight on that one, and five on that one, as well as a Flopsy Bunny 2018. Everything else we do have up until the uh, Queen Memorial coin. And for this one, we do need a stack of Olympics as well as the Kew Gardens. Every Olympic we need, apart from wheelchair rugby, that is the only duplicate we do have. Also need Jemima Puddle Look, which we got a good few months ago. Squirrel Nutkin, which I thought would have ticked off by now. Isaac Newton, and then three of the 28 teams. Um, in addition, what we've been getting is a lot of territories. So I've got six there. And we've got... 10 there so what 16 i think it's averaging around one every two hunts so so anyway let's get straight into it i'm recording this on the 15th of july and it was uh something Somebody mentioned one of the comments that rolly over bags were the way to go. I'm just going to quickly count these around the side. That's one, two. Three, 24, and one makes 25. And last week, I forgot to put out uh, Smithy's Isaac Newton and Dan's uh, medallion, so apologies there. We'll start off with the first bag, and uh, what we are looking for is Britannia's there is a low minted 2008, which I'm not bothered about. But Shale's years 2017 is low minted 1.8 million, that is uh, classed as a keeper. There's also the years 9, 10, 11, 16, 18, and 21, which are the not intended for circulation years. Uh, that's a 2014 and there's our first uh, got a few in the first bag so Benjamin Bunny is our first one no rotation on him we've also got Paddington at St Paul's Cathedral and to be honest we haven't been picking up very many Paddingtons um, so what, what is the reason I'm doing this uh, comparison well as I mentioned somebody did Query that uh, rolly over bags are the way to go. Probably yes and no. Um, I've seen people get more better finds in the sale bags, but if you do have somebody that put, cashes in one of their coin collections, which I did do uh, last the last year, which had an absolute stack of Olympics in. Um, so that is sort of few and far between. I think that was a 2000, no, that's a 2006. Um, finishing off with a Brexit. Got to check the date on the bottom, January 2020, which is correct. Um, we have seen one photograph of what one that was done in 2019, which was. Uh, the original date for Brexit, October 2019. 
so I just thought I'd do a comparison and see what uh, we can come up with. I'm going to try and check the coins on the fly. And what I'm going to do now is speed the video up. And if we do find anything of interest, I'll sort down and we'll have a look together. We've got a 2016 here. Hopefully this could be a Jemima Puddle look. Nope, it's a Team GB. Which uh, a lot of people will reckon is not a keeper. Now, it's a bit strange because I mean this one has got a mintage of 6.4 million. But uh, the Battle of Hastings has got a mintage of 6.7. And yet that is classed as a keeper. So mintages maybe not have everything to do with it. Design of a coin would probably help a lot. Somewhere. Because I haven't really been finding sort of very much in the way of uh, any finds. Uh, Olympic seems to have got off the boil. I mean, we did get one three weeks ago which was uh, the equestrian yeah, it's uh, there's other people seem to find them in more or less every other hunt so it is just the look of the draw here's a 2020 could be a diversity could be a brexit and it's a diversity which i'll just put next to the brexit keep the 2020s together Benjamin Bunny number two, no rotation. Chris by inside, seven million of them. And I know a certain person likes to keep them. These are 2000 in the Britannia, but I don't keep them anymore. Seem to have a frosted finish on that one. Don't think it is. Uh, Proof. Platinum Jubilee in twenty twenty two. Well worth hanging on to that one. I'm going to put that down in the keepers section because I definitely think that is going to be quite low minted when the figures come out later this year. So I think Conan Doyle, 2019. And uh, we've got the Queen's Memorial. So this little leak at the bottom has got uh, the date, 2022. 
it's always worth checking to see if that's got a rotation error as well. Um, here's our second one of the 2017 set for the yep, Tom Kitten. Another 2016 Peter Rabbit. Now again, he's classed as a keeper and he's got, was, I'm not sure if it's 9.6, 9.7 million. Um, but Tiggy Winkle, which has only got 8.8 .8 million vintage, that's not classed as a keeper. So going back to what I said right at the beginning, it's a bit weird. Said it could be designed, but obviously, if you want to complete the 2016 Potter set, you're going to need a Mrs. Tig Wingle as well. Another potting at the cathedral. When I get my coins ordered in, um, I could opt for the branch made up bag, but I do know that um, there is another collector who's been dumping his returns there, which uh, I've had on a couple of occasions because there was absolutely nothing in them at all. Um, so I do get the ordered in ones now from the, uh, the branch I use. And sometimes they are rolling over bags, sometimes they're not. <clears throat> so, case in point here, we've got <laughs> one of each. So it'll be interesting to see what the seal bags throw up next week. Act. <laughs> for, some, for some reason I thought it was uh, a suffragette there, I just saw the little person on the end. So 9 million of that one, class is very, very common. And some of my better finds of late have actually come from uh, sale bags. I think, didn't we get the Tooth Fairy one? I'm sure that was in a sale bag. Got here 2022, so that's going to be another Jubilee or a Pride. It's a Pride, so we've got all three 2022 coins. Don't keep the uh, the prides now. Here's a 2017 50p, so that's going to be another Potter. Uh, Peter Rabbit tail of. So we're just needing Jeremy Fisher now to complete that. What on earth? <laughs> I'm not one for collecting oddities, but this... Uh, I think it's just been filed down beyond belief. It's just totally flat. It's got no edge to it. Post mint damage. That is really weird. It's almost like a, a blank. Uh, it's very, very, very faint. Oh well, I'll stick that down there. Unusual find. 2020. Diversity again. Come on, where's, there's another one. 
pattern exactly the same. Hmm. Maybe it's not. Uh, post, well, it is post made and damage. I don't think it's going to be one of them. Uh, like I said, a blank. Getting two in the same bag. Another 2020 diversity again, third time of the day. Well, it is the recyclable bag that we uh, are actually going through, so it is probably all the. Uh, the duff stuff. Got a few finds, but uh, again, nothing of interest or nothing for the albums. Going to be a Commonwealth Games Glasgow, but uh, could be a Kew Gardens, as it could be. Oh, it's not, it's a WWF, so we've got one right down the middle. Um, unfortunately, not one for the albums, but keep it all the same. Parking that the cathedral for the third time. And this could be another diversity, which it is for for them. Don't tend to save any money. WWF turning up. And the mintage is only three point four million, so it is uh, a good caper. In my view, it is, and probably a lot of others as well. Panic <laughs> at the cathedral, fourth, fourth time we've had him to do. Uh, 2022, we'll go another pride. I'm not uh, keeping the pride coins now. I know the the, the miniature is only supposed to be 5 million. Well, I've, I've got absolutely stacks of them now. And this thing about uh, selling coins on, on eBay, it sort of inflated prices by the time you pay your eBay fees, postage, and that's not really worthwhile. Especially on the, uh, the low minted 2017 shales. Right, last bag time. And Apart from the WWF and maybe the Platinum Jubilee as well, I don't think we've, we've really got much to show. Uh, and it looks like we've got the 2017 Potter set completed because that is Jeremy Fisher. I've had, no, uh, di I've had no dictionaries yet. Oh god. <laughs> I honestly did not know that. Maybe I should have said we've had no Kew Gardens yet. But anyway, we did end up getting the dictionary right at the last coin of the hunt. So 
uh, that's it. Um, obviously, I've checked all the coins as we went through there, and there was no uh, of the key dates, but uh, probably started the show. We put that on as a thumbnail. It couldn't be, could it? But uh, anyway, that's it for today. So we'll see you next week when we do the seal bags as a comparison. So until then, thank you for watching. Keep on hunting, enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.